We got an interesting content drop today. We have a new City Connect program for the Angels. The start of the June Player of the Month program with a whole bunch of Tops Now cards, new headliner, and a pretty crazy roster update which is definitely going to change the market a little bit. So we're going to go over all of that stuff. Let's start off with the headliner. So the headliner is actually not that bad. It's a 95 second half heroes card. Larry Walker has 125 contact versus righties, 100 versus lefties. So great contact numbers. 101 power versus righties and 62 versus lefties. Got diamond tier defense, 62 speed. So the contact and the power versus righties really nice and right now he's going for around 20k so not really that expensive and that's the headliner so next thing is we'll go through the program so first program is the los angeles angels city connect the reward's pretty nice 92 shohei otani it's its first pure hitter card you know the other two the uh cover athletes card is a pitching card and then obviously his live series is a pitching card so this one's purely hitting it's a tops now card has 91 contact versus righties 80 versus lefties 102 power versus righties and 92 versus lefties with silver tier defense and 92 speed so power number is really nice speed's really nice it's not that bad and then you got the city connect uniforms for the angels which i kind of like them you know i don't know if that's white or cream and red but they look pretty nice to me so you're going to have to do moments. There's one, two, three, four, five, six moments to do. They're all going to be hitting one since they're all with Otani, I'm pretty sure. And then you got the Angels missions where obviously you got to use Otani and then get 1500 parallel XP with Angels players. So not bad right there for that. You also can do exchanges, I guess, too, but we never recommend doing that. So yeah, that's the City Connect. Now the Player of the Month program. The Tops Now cards for this week. We got Christopher Morrell has 88 contact versus righties, 94 versus lefties, 83 power versus righties, and 85 versus lefties. Actually not a bad looking card. You know, gold tier defense, 83 speed, can play multiple positions. It's, uh, it's pretty nice. You know, for a 90 overall, pretty nice. We got Lane Thomas has 84 contact versus righties, 89 versus lefties with 92 power versus righties, and 80 versus lefties. So... Another well-balanced hitting card, I would say. Gold tier defense, 84 speed. Next, we have Jameson Taya, 93 hit per nine, 57 K per nine, 92 walk per nine, with a 94 fastball, 87 slider, 94 sinker, 91 cutter, and an 88 circle change. So hit per nine's solid, I guess. You know, K per nine's obviously pretty low, but pitch repertoire... I think is pretty good so he, he could be pretty effective then we got brendan rogers had a three home run night has 88 contact versus righties 94 versus lefties 86 power versus righties 98 versus lefties and 72 vision with gold tier defense 47 speed i feel like if you had three home runs you should have more power numbers <laughs> you know but hey it's not a bad looking card and then we got edward cabrera you guys remember last year his future stars was probably the best pitcher in the game so you know it's kind of nice to have him back he has 95 hit per nine 97 k per nine 59 walk per nine you know he's not he's not as crazy good as he was last year but still he should be pretty nasty hopefully has an 88 circle change a 97 fastball 87 slider 84 curveball and a 93 sinker so still looks pretty good but not as good as he was last year and then the june player of the month flashback card is chris sale so it is a nice looking card 96 overall has 100 hit per nine 102 k per nine and 80 walk per nine 95 sinker 86 circle change 79 slider and a 95 four seam fastball so really solid looking card chris sale you know he's he's typically pretty good but i'm i'm pretty disappointed that they still have this card at the end of the program and they didn't put it at the beginning like all we're asking for is to at least have it at the halfway mark and for it to be unlocked within like the first two weeks, you know, so it doesn't have to be unlocked at the end of the month. But I think Chris Sale will still be usable when he comes out because it is a pitcher. Now for Tops Now moments, there's actually a lot. We got three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these to do. So we'll probably go through those, you know, through this weekend. But, you know, there's some good Tops Now cards, I think, throughout this week. And that's pretty much it for like the main content. Now going to... The main program, you know, there is some new XP missions that you can do. And each of these give you 5,000. So that's not bad, but it's with each division. So each division, when you're using players, you'll get 5K. Not bad if you want to do this through Conquest or just playing online or many seasons. You're When you're naturally playing, you'll pretty much get this stuff done. So those are pretty good. Now collections, you will get 15,000 XP for finishing up that Angels program. 
And then there is another exchange set, which, you know, we don't really care for exchanges. But if you guys want to do it, you know, 5k XP is not bad. And then there will be a new conquest next week for the East. And that'll give you 30,000 XP. So they're giving us some XP possibilities. And that's really it for the content. Now on to the roster update. Roster update's pretty big. We got Aaron Judge upgraded to a 95. And I did mention this yesterday. There's a good chance he's the highest rated player and he is so now aaron judge is the highest rated live series card that's not it acuna got upgraded and he got plus two jose ramirez got upgraded so now there's three players higher overall than mike trout who got downgraded minus two so that's kind of crazy mookie bets he got a plus three which is not bad this card's definitely looking a little bit nicer now goldschmidt gets upgraded to a 90 at contact versus lefties is crazy power numbers and righty numbers could still see some improvements but versus lefties that card is a beast hater got plus one let's see nolan arenado gets downgraded to an 89 with nothing really crazy but you know that 90 threshold is kind of big garrett cole got upgraded and then bryce harper got a nice upgrade plus two shane mcclanahan he's still getting some upgrades jordan alvarez got plus two pete alonzo he gets upgraded to a diamond so that's not bad right there jazz chisholm little downgrade but uh, he's still a really good card. Trey Turner, only plus one. I, I feel like with the hitting streak and everything, he would have got a bigger upgrade. But that's whatever. Aaron Nola, he gets upgraded to a diamond. Kyle Tucker, he gets upgraded to a diamond. Alec Manoa gets upgraded to a diamond. And then Joe Musgrove gets upgraded to a diamond. I think that's all the diamond upgrades, which is kind of surprising. I did expect Ty France to maybe get upgraded. I don't know what's taking so long with this one. I expected Rafael Devers. To get the diamond upgrade because you know he literally just got a player of the month card he's he's been killing it but no upgrade for him rodan gets downgraded and glesias gets downgraded and then Contreras is kind of up there cortez is another one expected him to get upgraded i'm pretty sure he's leading the cy young race so i think i think it's only time you know if he has a good next two weeks you know he should get upgraded he did kind of get shelled the other day but he's still pitching really well and then that's it for major upgrades. Sandy Alcantara, big plus five, almost went upgraded to a diamond, but I think he's next. You know, if he keeps pitching the way he's pitching, I feel like he's next. Pablo Lopez, you know, still in consideration for diamond. Maybe Max Freed. You know, those are some candidates right there to consider for the next roster update. Andres Jimenez gets a gold upgrade. Zach Wheeler didn't really get touched, but I feel like he's someone that can maybe get upgraded to diamond. Tarek Skubal, you know, he just got a player of the month. So I think he's a player to watch for future diamond upgrades. And I think that's really it. I like Michael Kopech also, but nothing else really with the upgrades. Duran gets upgraded to a gold. There is some silvers to gold. Clay Holmes, I think everyone expected that one. And maybe he continues to get upgraded. We'll have to see with that. Garcia got upgraded to a gold. And then Severino upgraded to a gold. Classe upgraded to a gold. Who else got upgraded? Let's see. We got Brandon Drury. Okay, Bo Bichette. So a few gold upgrades right there. Austin Riley, Jose Abreu. McKenzie also gets upgraded to a gold. And Jameson Tyon. Is that it? Yeah, that might be it. Because the rest of them are just downgrades. Small upgrade right here from Julio Rodriguez. But I feel like he's someone. He's been, he's been hitting pretty well, I think, lately. That he can get upgraded still. And Montgomery. I feel like he's someone that can get upgraded to a gold. But he just got a top snout card. No way, he didn't get a top snout card. Ty got a top snout card. I feel like Montgomery, he, he could be next for gold. So that's kind of where we're at with the roster update. You know, we're not really going to go over all of them. There's some good silver to gold upgrades and some good gold to diamond upgrades. Kind of expected a little bit more. But now just taking a look at the live series prices, they're, they're kind of crazy. <laughs> they're kind of crazy. There also is an Xbox dub sale. So you have to consider that that might, inf I mean, it will influence the prices a little bit. But Judge, now 176K. Acuna jumped up to 371. I think he was 250 last week, <laughs> you know? And even yesterday, I think I might have seen him at like 280, which he was going up in price. But to go to 370 is a huge jump. Jose Ramirez now 158K. Trout, he's still surprisingly at 397. So a lot of people, maybe because the stub sale, are trying to pick him up. But I would have expected his price to drop a little bit. Otani's at 222. DeGrom 197. 
Mookie Betts went up a little bit. Tatis at 223, which is kind of where he's been at, but normally around 200K. And Hater's at 86K. Scherzer at 109. So that's definitely something impacted by the stub sale because normally he's under 90K. So yeah, there's a lot of moves. There was a lot of roster update moves. And the market is kind of crazy right now with live series. Like, like if you didn't have Acuna, you kind of got screwed today. And that's, <laughs> that's a pretty big blow. So that's kind of where we're at. Just taking a quick look at the updated schedule. Let's see if they got anything new up there. So on the 14th, we have Battle Royale adds two flashback flawless rewards plus a legend program reward, which I don't know if that's like a, a separate legend program or they're just talking about the legend in the BR program. So I guess we'll have to see with that. But at minimum, we will have at least three diamond cards and then a future star showdown to earn XP. And then on the 16th, which is Thursday, new other program loaded with packs. That's kind of vague, <laughs> you know, other program. But since it's loaded with packs, you know, hopefully that's pretty nice. And then the headliner set 23 and East Conquest map dropping on Thursday and then another Moonshot event. Oh so yeah, that's the updated schedule. Let me know what you guys think about the content that dropped today. The roster update, the tops now, Shohei Otani, Larry Walker, and I think that was pretty much everything we went over. But let me know what you guys think. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, drop a like in the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out.